Remember that snake that my family just got a couple of weeks ago? Well, it's on the loose. So uh, I gotta go catch a snake and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and show you some of the methods that I use, um, you know, to, to help find a snake. Not saying we're gonna find a snake, but you know, maybe. <laughs> All right, we made it back over to the family's house because the snake is on the loose. His snake is loose. Hmm. Things first, we want to make sure that we're checking through everything of the cage, turning over all of the soil if you suspect your snake being loose, checking in all the hides, and a lot of hides have like hidden pieces that tiny snakes can get into, like this one right here. Um, it has like this entire way around and back into there, which is where we're thinking she might be at. Um, but, so you wanna make sure that you're changing the cage all the way over when you suspect your snake being loose. So we fully went through everything besides cutting open the hollow hides and the snake's not in here. We're gonna put everything back in the cage and go search some key points around the house first before I go and ruin the hides. So some key areas around the house that we wanna be paying attention to are things that generate their own warmth or their own heat. Since snakes cannot, they rely on outside sources to provide them body heat. Um, we wanna look at things that generate some heat. So your fridge, um, other appliances like dishwashers, stoves, um, look around your washer and dryer and the water heater. All of those kind of things generate their own heat and your snake will probably reside there. With no luck finding it near any of the appliances, you want to move towards things that are sources of water, things that are like pipes that'll have condensation, the bathroom sinks, um, the kitchen sinks, th those kind of things, uh, because your snake will eventually need water and that's a good place that, that it'll get water in your house. So look around those areas. Okay. So we have checked pretty much everywhere. Besides actually turning the, the house over, we are suspecting that it is inside of those hollow hides. So we're gonna go ahead, chop those bad boys up, see if our snake is in there. Um, and if not, then we'll, then we'll just tear the entire house apart. We're just going super slow because we don't want to chop our snake. <laughs> The snake was not in any of those hides like we thought he was. Now, you check the warm spots, you've checked the spots that have water, you've checked the entire cage. Now is to go bit by bit through your house and thoroughly search everything. Make sure you're not panicking, you don't wanna be slamming stuff around, throwing stuff around a bunch. That'll just cause the snake to hunker down even more or to find a completely new hiding spot. So just, Take your time, look through everything nice and thorough, like, like we're doing now. We just finished tearing apart the entire house. And no luck. And if you're in the same shoes and have tore apart your entire house, here's a few tricks that you can do to try and coax the snake out. Step one, turn the heat down. Sorry, Dave. Have fun with your electric bill. Now take the heating pad and put it somewhere that the snake will want to go. Like somewhere dark and a tight space. Maybe right here in this closet. Next thing that you can do is take the cage uh, of the snake. Obviously it was tall enough to get out of that shit so it'll be tall enough to get back in it. We're gonna put the cage on the floor over here with its heat plugged in, 
so that way the snake can go back in there for heat if it chooses. Last thing that we've got to do is leave some food out for the snake. Uh, we're gonna put the food kind of near the, the warm areas so that way it will entice the snake to go there. And then after that, we're just gonna be quiet for a long time, probably like the next three hours would not say a damn thing. It's looking a little bleak right now. Now we just have to be relatively quiet for the next couple hours. Another thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is um, be aware of like the type of snake that you have and its personality and how it acts. Um, if you have like a diurnal snake, a snake that's active and moving during the day, you'll most likely want to be searching during the day. If you have a snake that is a nocturnal snake and it's more active at night, that's when you'll want to be searching as well. So, though we searched through the house this first time here during the day, we're gonna go again and search just like we did uh, thoroughly through everything again tonight um, to see if we can catch it while the snake is moving, cut off all the lights in the house, run around with some flashlights. Hey, you guys found it? Nice. Where was Dave it? Was, Dave checked the closet. I had just checked the closet before you left and she wasn't there. Right. And then, so we were get we ordered food, we were getting ready to go take a shower, and I guess he was going to get a washcloth. And no, he, I just decided just to go. Oh, work. well, he went and looked. He's like, I found her. Come here, come here, come here. So, yeah, I went. He picked up the um, heating pad, and then, so I grabbed her. Nice. And she was just, like, curled up there in the heating pad in the closet? Yep. Underneath the heating pad. Awesome. Let's go, bro. Here. Nice. <laughs> well, heck yeah. Make sure you guys get that cage fixed up before you put her back in there. Yeah. And make sure you look around, look around it and see if there's any possible way that she could get out before you guys leave her alone in the cage again. Yeah. Just take out the she's, like... yeah, she's in time out. She doesn't know it yet, but she's <laughs> Stick. Well, good. I'm glad that we were able to get her. That was really great. Oh, oh, work. You know, now we know what to do. Freeze the house and put a heat source somewhere. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm about to feed my geckos, so I will, uh, I'll let you guys go. Alright. I, I promise I'll make it over there soon, Cam. Alright. Alright, bye. <laughs> bye, guys. That's just a few tips for you guys. If you've lost your snake and are freaking out and you can't find it, just follow these few tips. Look around the house, look around the cage, look around the heat. If you can't find it around the heat, drop the temperatures in your house and create your own heat source that'll force the snake to some heat. That's all I've got for you guys in today's video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up because you know I need those kinds of things. If you have questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comments down below. I respond to almost everything. See you guys next time.